Hey folks, what's up? Um, this is probably gonna be a short video. Again, I'm sorry, you know, I, I get excited and I just start unbolting stuff and I forget. Anyways, I, I've got the, uh, the scoops taken off of both sides of the bike and the foot pegs and the uh, rear brake caliper and a hose and the obviously the master cylinder brake pedal all that stuff's taken off kind of looks weird huh it's kind of like whoa um it's like one of those bikes that the little kids ride you know the, the push bikes anyhow um what i'm going to do now this is probably going to be a fairly short video oh yeah front fender is off um i got the clutch cable disconnected just kind of piddly stuff you know i'm just kind of whittling at this but what i'm going to do in this video is i think i'm going to take off uh the headlamp assembly just this one part with the gauge cluster and all that stuff just get this out of the way and uh, remove from the bike seems like it's going to be fairly straightforward to get it done so um, i'm going to do a time lapse and uh when we are done this will be removed Right, guys here we are um so got all the stuff removed uh the headlamp mount assembly thingy uh gauge cluster all that stuff which is still down here i haven't put anything away what's interesting is i didn't know that this guy here was actually a two-piece um, unit i thought that was a single piece but it's actually two pieces and then uh obviously headlamp and got the uh right throttle completely removed by the way my plans are to change these out to ebr controls which are a direct plug and play uh and uh somewhat of a modernization of to, of the uh, hand controls next will be front brakes and stuff like that and then i'll be removing all the the harness from wherever i can on the bike and uh, obviously removing everything from the tail section that I can, or that I have to, including that reservoir. And the idea here is to remove this entire tail section as one unit, leave the shock installed so I can keep the bike on the stand with the front uh, forks and everything still in place. I'm gonna remove handlebars. Basically everything's gotta get disassembled. And then um, obviously remove all this stuff from the engine. And then I'm, I hope to be able to drop the engine down uh, away from the frame. I realize the swing arm poses an issue and may have a problem with my plan. So I'm going to study this out and see if I can come up with something. If not, I'll have to come up with some kind of a um, brace to hold it up after I get the engine out. And while I'm getting the engine out, use straps up to my ceiling mount there to hold this so i i don't know it's an orders of op, order of operations kind of situation so we'll we'll see i, I just don't know exactly how i'm gonna do it yet um so yeah and then you know like everything's gonna come off bike because the frame is gonna get painted uh everything's gonna get painted everything's getting refreshed if i'm going this far it's all gonna be um as good as I can do, right? As much as I can afford to do and make sense of it without going absolutely bonkers. I wish I had the money to go bonkers, but I don't. Um, let's see, what else? Good news about this paint is I did a quick color, uh, color test on this part of the rear swing arm and I used some engine enamel uh, ceramic engine enamel to do it and it's a dead-on match so that's not the plan it was just I wanted to see if something off the shelf shelf would be a good match for the frame and it is so I'm not going to, have to go crazy trying to find a good paint uh, for this 
The plan is, plan A is to get a pro to paint this for me after I do some prep work. Plan B, same using numbers. Uh, plan B is to um, buy my own paint equipment, equipment and uh, paint uh, like a single stage silver and paint this guy. And the last option is rattle can it. Now I have seen and done some pretty good rattle can jobs. So I, I don't want to do rattle can because it's going to have the least amount of life and durability. Um, well, depending, I guess if I do engine enamel or um, brake caliper enamel, that's going to have some fairly good durability. I'm just not sure how good it's going to look, you know? I mean, this is kind of exposed. Um, so option A and B are definitely, you know, what I want to do. The brake master cylinder is going to get upgraded to a radial. So I've already found that. Um, actually, thanks, Mike. Mike helped me find that. Dime City Cycle has that. Levers are getting updated. Um, found some yellow anodized levers to match the other stuff that I mentioned about being yellow, including that shock. And um, other than that, the, the same paint scheme is gonna be involved. It's gonna be, you know, kind of a gunmetal gray here, silver over there, silver here, yada, yada, yada. Um, already got the engine side cases planned out. I'm gonna get those uh, media blasted and uh, gonna put some VHT engine wrinkle finish on that, uh, which should look pretty stellar, I think, once I get that done. And then uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, we're going to stop here and uh, rock and roll. Hope you all have a good, uh, good rest of your day, whatever time of day it is for you. Maybe you're going to sleep or whatever. It doesn't matter. Have a good one. Till next time, peace out. Keep it between the beaches. <music>